here's a question for you. Should you have sex every day with your spouse to keep your romance alive? Well, this woman says she did. This is her interview with the Huffington Post. Brittany Gibbons says her and her husband had sex every day for an entire year. And she did it because she felt sex was becoming more of a chore than an enjoyment. And she wanted to change that. She always had body image problems and didn't feel sexy. And she said it really did help her marriage. Yeah, so we wanted the experts to weigh in. We invited our marriage and sex therapist, Leslie Gustafson, to get her thoughts on this. Leslie, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Okay. This, <laughs> let's just get right to it because this, I've got a lot of questions about this one. She said it felt like sex was a chore, so she added it to her daily chore list. How does that work? Well, it was partly a chore for her, but it was also this issue of knowing that she was avoiding sex because she felt not so great about her body. Here's a, a mom of young children. Yeah. Um, she's got kind of a mission around body image and and empowering women, right? So it was a part of that mission. But she was like, I'm avoiding sex because I don't feel good. I'm going to try to overcome this. So mm -hmm. while it started out as a chore, she said over time it became something that she looked forward to in her day. It was a time of connection with her husband and it was pleasurable. So yeah, every single day. And she had fears about being in the bedroom. So she's also kind of conquering her fears by not avoiding them. So, you know, I say right on. She did a really good thing for herself right. and she valued her marriage and she obviously valued sex and the importance of it to their marriage. So, you know, good for her. I don't, I, practically speaking, really, I mean, I don't know how they did it, but there they did it. Yeah, I mean, uh, good for her. <laughs> Apparently, she says this worked for her, but what about for everyone else? Is this a real option? Uh, uh, you know, I think it's kind of a, a huge goal to try to pull off, but what if you thought of yourself as having cons um, sex consistent, like you're going to shoot for three times and maybe you'll hit one or two, right? So it will keep consistency up. There was a couple um, five to seven years ago that did this same challenge of 365 days right. and they did it for 365 days. Now, okay, this is seven years later, they shoot for three and they kind of hit two. A year? So, <laughs> no, a week. Oh my <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I am no. never getting married. No. But I think there's something to be said about um, the consistency because sex is marital glue. Okay. Right. When you have sex, oxytocin is getting kicked off between the two of you, which is a bonding and a chemical, right? It's also what the chemical that is used when you're nursing. So you're bonding with your husband. It's also sex kicks off um, dopamine in your brain. So it's a low grade antidepressant. Uh -huh. So this gal in particular probably got that extra benefit of sex every day, actually probably helped her mood and encouraged her along the way. Now, let me <laughs> ask you, what do you tell your patients to aim for? Because we did a little research and what the average couple has has sex less than twice a week, mm -hmm. just under twice a week. So what do you suggest couples aim for? What's a good number? I don't pick a number because every couple is different and okay. every couple has to figure out what's right for them and negotiate it. Um, desire difference is common. We typically think of men wanting it more, women wanting a little less. So they have to find what's right for them. And I think when we start playing the numbers game, then we start doing this, well, you know, five times, it, it gets competitive. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that's what the point is. All right. Leslie, thank you so much. Great to have you on. Oh, a great pleasure. discussion. Her my website, pleasure. don't forget for more information. And to connect with Leslie, go to www.authenticandtrue.com. We'll be right back after the break.